decisions to end DACA looms. Many right here in New Mexico are now reacting with several state officials firing back. News 13 Sarah Yingling joins us now with that part of the story. Good morning, Sarah. Morning, Crystal. Yeah, if this decision to end DACA were to go through, officials say thousands of people here in our state would face immediate deportation. That's why Attorney General Hector Baldera says he's going to continue his fight against the decision. In a statement sent out last night, Baldera said President Trump is compromising the safety and security of thousands of New Mexicans. He went on to say that ending DACA would create an unacceptable public safety threat in the U.S. and how DACA is essential to national security. They passed a background check and they check in with Homeland Security. Uh, this is why they're good partners with law enforcement. They help us prevent crime, not create crime. Meanwhile, White House Press Secretary says the president's priorities on immigration are to create a system that encourages legal immigration and benefits our economy and American workers. Right now, AGs from Texas and eight other states have threatened to sue over DACA if the president does not rescind the program by Tuesday. Lawmakers here in New Mexico have also fired off on the hot button issue. Recently, Representative Steve Pierce went on the record calling DACA a, quote, short-term solution, asking for reform on the nation's immigration policies. While Senator Tom Udall said in part, quote, stripping DACA and building a border wall are not what this nation of immigrants stands for. Back in July, Balderas announced that he would join, be joining other attorneys general in an effort to keep the program that protects young people in the country illegally. Back to you. All right, thanks so much, Sarah. And this morning, the hashtag DefendDACA is now trending on Twitter. New this morning.